Hey everybody, Stitch1993 here, back again with another movie review. This time let's talk about Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, also known as Jim Henson's Emmett Otter Jug Band Christmas. Released as a television special back in 1977, and based on the book of the same name by Russell Hoban, this is hands down my favorite non Hermit Frog Muppets Muppet movie, if that makes sense. Uh, the basic plot is Emmett Otter and his mother are very poor animals in this film compared to some of the other people that live around them. And it's coming around Christmas time and Emmett wants, of course, a new guitar and his mother suggests that she would like a new piano. And of course, it kind of goes into the whole story of the gift of the Magi where one destroys one thing to get the other thing and in the end n neither one of them has the uh, original item that the uh, we're trying to get so it starts off with Emmett uh, learning about a talent contest that's gonna happen and his friends talk him into uh, not only being in the band but to be in the band he has to destroy the wash tub by putting a hole in it to make a kind of uh, wash tub guitar instrument. At the same time, uh, while he's doing this and rehearsing, a friend of Ma Otter suggests that she should also enter the talent contest because she sings so beautifully. Now, whereas Emmett, I understand his need to put the hole in the wash tub to enter uh, the mother it's not as understandable as her main complaint is she doesn't want to wear what she has to go to the talent contest she wants a new dress and so she hawks Emmett's tool chest which he has been using through the film to do odd jobs to I guess kind of keep them afloat so that she can get the fabric to make a new dress so yeah it's kind of one-sided at least for me on who you should really be rooting for to win now going into spoilers a little bit neither one of them wins and when you see the band that does win you'll definitely understand thankfully the film does end on a slightly happy note as they do get a job later that night so that they don't starve to death. So besides it being a Jim Henson production, one of the main things that really entices me about this film is all the musical numbers. I can't tell you how many times I've caught myself humming Barbecue, When the River Meets the Sea, Our World, Brothers in Our World, even the bathing suit that Grandma Otter wore, which is probably the only song I've ever heard that is one giant Yo Mama So Big joke. I'm innocent of such an act, he cried. The fact is that's a perfect diaper for a baby whale. But they're all wonderfully written by Paul Williams, who's known for writing almost all of the really classic Muppet songs and these are just as good. Uh, originally there was some licensing issues for this film so on some of the older DVDs the introduction done by Kermit the Frog was not there but as of 2017 they did release the movie on DVD and Blu-ray to commemorate the 40th anniversary and that does include the Kermit the Frog introduction. So if you do get this movie on DVD definitely look for the newest version it has the 40th anniversary special I think it even advertises Kermit the Frog on the disc cover I was introduced to this at a very young age so I probably have some nostalgic classics to this but on the other hand it is Jim Henson and there's very little in the film and television world that he did wrong while he was alive and I would put this up there right with the classic Muppet films and Fraggle Rock. So oh, I highly recommend checking this film out. And let me know in the comments if you've already seen this movie. If you grew up with it or if you grew up with the original book. 
Uh, and of course, like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.